good morning, Vietnam and other countries, people. Here are my new friends. I was shit scared of horses because when I was about four, my father thought it was a great idea to buy me a racing horse, huh? about 20 times my size. It wasn't such a great idea because I became scared of horses and the horse wasted away until our goat died, her little friend, and she was sold and won all kinds of prizes because she was a racing horse, not a toy for kids. But, well, my father has been off in his educational methods more often. More about that later. This little horse, the one on the left, was very scared yesterday. And I thought, well, I can work with magic with dogs. Uh, I got one to come to life again after it got a heart attack in my car three days ago now. And so I thought, let's try it with a horsey. And I noticed that if I approached it from the right eye, see, a little scared, the right eye, it would freak out, run away, you know, it's fine. And apparently somebody used a whip, there's a tick there, I think, where's that tick? Used a whip and hit it, oh, see, scared. Oh, and then I'm scared, It'll, it's okay. And now I can touch it and see there's a scar and some idiot used a whip and hit it in the eye. So I have some more work to do. The thing is, I can do this as easily with people, but they put their head in between. They think, oh, what is this? Is this Reiki? Is this what name? What name? And then they talk about their youth. I don't need the information because I'll get it in my body. And the body is much quicker than the mind. Uh, even though my mind is fast, it's not fast enough to do magic. It's just useful to have knowledge. Uh, or see. And so when I was done, I don't know what I do, I just do something. The horse finally came to me and wanted to get a hug. And I started crying like, oh, scared horsey. And now we're back in touch. At one point I want to do bareback horse riding. That's kind of the sublime Aikido training you can do because the horse will correspond to the stress in your body just like dogs take on the stress of their owner and get a heart attack in my car because their her his lady of 80 year old is stressed because of not corona but the corona measures and so they take it in and they, if they need it they'll die for you because you can't handle your own stress. Well, this little movie is part of a very courageous thing I need to do, which is to break out of my culture, my cultural box. What is the cultural box? It's called Calvinism and Lutherism. You need to be as normal as you can be, otherwise your head will be chopped off. There's my head. If you're either below the line, you're an idiot, you need to get fixed. Eh? Education, coaching, training, medication, whatever, to keep you up in the box. Like my friend Paul, who was called the most stupid kid of class and was fixed by all kinds of professional idiots. Or somebody like me, who has an IQ of 180 and a couple of other abilities that kill people to freak out. And Mostly it's jealousy, like they'll think you're better than they are, but it's actually they feel worse than you do, and these stupid comparisons is killing off the potential in people. So I've been pretending from age of four to be less who I am, to make other people feel less insecure. And if they feel insecure, they will hit me in the knees, they will stab me in the back, they will bounce on my head. So they feel comfortable. It's called group victim communication. It is a person. It feels person. Horses and dogs understand this much better. They don't do this stupid ape stuff that human beings do and call it human. Ah, very funny. It's all the reptilian thing. Partly the mammal. More about this later. I'm